Douglas wants the ball and the game is on the line. Douglas, oh, that's pretty off glass. She is so savvy with the ball, she knows just what to do. And this crowd likes what it sees. Right now, Katie Douglas playing like the league MVP. Before rising to stardom in the WNBA, Katie Douglas faced the devastating loss of both parents. You know, growing up trying to decide school and I find out that my father was terminally ill with pancreatic cancer, it's, it's a lot for, you know, a 17-year-old at the time to kind of endure. And my mom was my rock there my first couple years at Purdue and going to every game, just being so supportive of me, you know, after having lost my father, it was difficult. But then, you know, to find out during college that um, she was diagnosed with breast cancer was an extreme blow to me. I, I really just didn't even know how to deal with it half the time. And, you know, after my junior season in college, um, you know, she just progressively kept going downhill. And, you know, like I said, I'm 20 years old. Now I'm motherless, fatherless, and kind of lost. Help. Basketball has been there for me and always is there for me as kind of an outlet. You know, when my mom was sick and then when she passed away, um, I didn't play immediately after my mother passed away, but um, definitely when I went back to the court and decided to go back, um, it was definitely a great outlet for me to kind of forget everything that had happened and just kind of bear all my thoughts and my emotions into the game. So for Katie, there is special meaning in the WNBA's Breast Health Awareness Week. The league has taken on pink and white colors to draw attention to the battle against breast cancer. The WNBA does a great job as far as talking to women, reaching out to the community, trying to spread awareness and, and try to obviously raise money to one day hopefully have a cure for breast cancer.